Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome into the channel if it's your first time here. I'm Aurelia and I'm a full-time active duty military member as well as a part-time YouTuber and Twitch streamer. And today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different and new to my YouTube channel and to me as well, because if you know anything about me or have mayhaps seen my Last of Us playthrough, then you know I am not big on horror. I do not do well with scary things in general. I'm the type of girl who gets jump scared when my cat runs across the room. I don't like scary movies games, books, haunted houses. I love the vibes. I It's just not for me, dog. But you guys like watching me suffer. I like suffering from time to time. You know, what's a little adversity if not to remind you that you're alive? We're limit testing today, y'all. We're limit testing. It's gonna be a good time. I'm probably gonna cry as usual. I'm gonna scream a lot. I'm here for it. And yeah, as always, a caveat is that I have not seen anything about this game this is a completely blind playthrough so no spoilers please in the comments no tips no hints and anything like that we're just going in completely blind i don't know a thing about this game i just know that it's called until dawn so i mean judging by my analytical thought processes when i was playing the last of us and i didn't know it was an apocalyptic game you can only assume that my thought processes with until dawn are quite similar in that i don't know what the fuck this game is gonna be about and i'm really excited i'm here for it i say that now and i can't wait to look at myself four hours from now and uh not know who i am in the mirror anyways i'm rambling i'm stalling i'm ready for it i've got my coffee i am somewhat equipped for chaos I hope you are too, and without further ado, let's get into it. Hmm, barely visible? Hmm. Yeah, this is good. Uh, traditional? Yeah, motion? Okay, what is this? The Wii? shit down okay well that was already a jump scare that's good oh audio would you look at that I was trying to turn it off internally Jesus H Christ All right. audio <gasps> Dude, I hate this already. Is this like ghosts? Why is she like transparent? Okay, okay. Subtitles for sure. Overlay text for written material while playing. I can read. All right. What the hell? Oh my god. I couldn't even get past the menu. Alright, I gotta psych myself up right now. Hold on. Whew, okay. <sighs> okay, we're doing it. New story. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. The butterfly effect. Tiny butterfly. Devastating hurricane. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. I'm gonna shit my pants. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Carefully. Ooh. 
for the dark and stormy night. Why is there an echo? Hold on, I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> My bad, guys. I think I fixed it. Dude, she got kind of booty. She's pear shaped. Okay. Hannah, fix it. <laughs> Is the lighting supposed to be this gloomy? Mike. And like the colors? Mike, it's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. weekend Josh Oh Okay, we're playing now. I think this looks a little bit better. Okay. Got my monster energy drink. I don't like this. I don't like these particulates in the air. Is he shiny? R2. Jeremiah Crag. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Um. <laughs> Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Oh. I've got your note. I'm glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. choose wake Josh find the others homie is drunk as a skunk guys there's someone outside what the hell Hannah what's going on what's he gonna do Where's my sister going it's fine she just can't take a joke it was just a prank hand it's just what a prank yeah okay around that it wasn't serious you jerk God damn it. Hannah! So, should we go after her? I already hate these people. You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. 
Oh, already? Oh, shit. oh God. The fast sa sa save. Oh, God. Uh. <gasps> No, I just work here. I'm gonna break my ankle. We can't have that at the beginning of the game. We're gonna go safe. There's already a snowstorm. She's already lost. Like, she's already a lost cause. Oh boy. Noise. Yeah, maybe the footprints. Oh, there was a killer outside. Fuck, I already forgot. Oh, no. The meese. Ah! I hate loud noises. God damn it. Fuck me, man. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Death's gonna die. Oh, okay, that's fun. Yeah. Status update. Oh, I have to use two sticks! I'm out here dual wielding. I got the light. Oh, shit. And we're walking. What in the world? What is this gonna actually do anything for me? What are the odds I see like a shiny thing out here? My phone's gonna die. Death, the possible death of the first of the person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought death and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. What? Wow, great movie. Six out of nine would recommend again. Mystery man. Totems. Relationships. What the fuck? 1952. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I don't want any spoilers. Even though it's our I'm turning my volume down. So I can die on a rock. Got it. Avoid cliffs. Cool, 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 cool. Are we on a cabin? Presumably this is like a mountain, so... The odds of slipping and falling on a rock are pretty high. What the hell was that? Damn, there are dragons in this game! What the fuck is that?! Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. So dumb. You're even dumber now. What the fuck? It's the dragon! God damn it. Oh, fuck. Oh god, you dumb bitch! No! Oh, 
Was it a cliff? Bing bong, time to donk your head. Oh, god damn it, this is not going well. No. No. Shit. Save her. <laughs> Let go. Fine. I should have <laughs> dropped Hannah. Damn, that was fast. Can I start over? <laughs> oh man we already got some people killed shit that was what five minutes all right it's fine the analyst before we begin there are a few things i need to make sure you understand you see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Oh, this is cool. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Okay. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. I've already screamed like 10 times and nothing has even happened yet. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. Uh-huh. I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. These are security blankie. Right. We will start with a simple exercise. I trust this guy with my life. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. This is our dad. Okay. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Huh. Happy or uneasy? I feel uneasy. I feel like I'm being stalked in a cornfield. Right now. You want me to live through that experience 20 seconds ago and tell me this makes me happy? No! Okay. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? I also hate the outdoors. There's bugs. And it's hot. The scarecrow? The scarecrow. Yeah, that's something to do with it. I see. I see. If you just removed the scarecrow, see. The scarecrow, it would be a barn. There. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Sure. Huh. Remove this scarecrow, and sure. What if I told you that this cottage was haunted? What kind of psychopaths play this game? Yes, I'd be scared. Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant. There are people that would be like, yeah, sure. Of the supernatural. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Why does he have, like, devils and shit behind him? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? True! Please remember, this is 
it's only a game. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. This is very interesting. I hate it. But this is very interesting. What a dichot like a dichotomy, a different scene, like the contrast between where we just were to this. Oh man, this game is gonna be real interesting. I could feel it. Death. Won't you spare me over till another year? Another year. Oh, I can't wait for copyright to. Get my ass. I think my cat unplugged the PlayStation thing. on Mount Washington. Annie Klein, oh God! Stop it! Having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year oh. ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. For the whole huh. time, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Oh. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Interesting. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. This guy. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. It's been a year? For, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Hmm. Yes! Dang. Interesting. So it's been a year since they went missing. There's a potential suspect who's claiming that Memento Mori remembered death 10 hours until dawn. Oh, they said the thing. Everyone take a shot. Uh, that could be a potential suspect. We saw some random mask figure that we didn't take their hand. 
What the? Hannah's best friend. Consider it adventurous diligent. Hello? Okay. Someone there? Path to cable car station, 2102. All right. Okay. I'm gonna try not to think too far into this because the game's gonna explain things as we keep going, so... The gate's busted. Climb over. Oh, oops. Wow, what? <sighs> Damn it. Oh, Jesus, never mind. <laughs> oops. God, why is the pause sound so scary? We're gonna keep going with safe. I can't afford to like break people's ankles. It's too early. Jump? Whoa! Is this an animal or a human? Aww. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? Don't move. <laughs> Cutie. Oh god, it's teaching me not to move when with Creepers nearby. Oh, God. That's so scary. Car station. Yep. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Oh, cool. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Ah, this is like the death totem we found. Death. Black butterflies prophes prophesize the dreamer's death. Red is danger. Red butterflies warn of dangerous events. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Yellow and white butterflies. Got it. Yellow? God, that's so scary. There's like a table and a crow. Interesting. Depends on the choices you make. Oh, wow. This is so in depth. This is a lot more in depth. And I didn't. New. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. Yeah, and like blood. Oh wow, this is really pretty. Chris, are you here? Max here. 
Not in the bag, are you? Hello, what do we have here? Do I really want to start off with snooping? Hmm. Hmm. He left his phone out. It's right here ringing. What if I find out juicy information I need? We're gonna snoop. Oh, I was a butterfly effect. Oh fuck! Aha! Look who it is. Ah! Hey, Chris. Knew it. Has a crush on Ashley. Protective, methodical, humorous. Aw, oh, man, we got caught. That's the worst. You me. I I'm sorry. Are Are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well. Thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oopsie doopsie. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Status update. Oh, with... Oh, my honesty went down. Oh, and my curiosity went up. Oh. Yikes. Okay. Oopsie doopsie. Ta-da. Pretty rad, right? Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. Oh. All right. Here goes. Cool shooting tutorial. Boink. Wow. Wow. All right. I'm bad. <laughs> I'm a badass. I'm going to go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. No! The squirrel! No! <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, right? Butterfly effect for the hey, squirrel? Get the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. What? How does... Update? How does not killing the... Status update? Sam went up. Yeah. This game is about to be like... <laughs> Until Dawn be like... Did you eat the sandwich or did you not eat the sandwich? Butterfly effect. You got fat! Like, what? Yeah, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, I just saw running back. Here goes fast. Victor Milgram. Oh, look at this. 6'2. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. First degree oh, arson effect. Nobody comes up here. 
1998. Arson. Cut clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn and increase your chances of survival. Press R1 to see all your- Oh, shit! A torn up wanted poster about a fugitive on the mountain date of 1998. Someone didn't want people to see this. Victor Milgram Mail 62, Blackwood Pines 316, 1998. Wanted in connection with a first degree arson offense, as well as various death threats. Wanted in connection, yeah. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted cons Constabulary, Constabulary. Police Monte Provincial de Blackwood. Oh. You guys know I suck at collecting stuff, right? This is not gonna go well. Bro, I'm bad at decision making and collecting clues. I'm about to get all these bitches killed. God. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front where I was sitting. Of course. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. Okay, so. And. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. Wow, the lore. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low cut shirt that showed off her training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Wow. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. The butterfly Ooh. effect. Butterfly effect. Yup. Wow, the training bra with the low cut shirt combo. Oh, Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. I like her braids. Oh. Ah! What the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? <laughs> oh my I thought I ran into God. a pole. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, Damn. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal. Damn! Favorite. Coming at me like that. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Damn. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh, explain. Honesty is good. Mike and M split. Were together. Whoa, drama. Whoa. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Damn! Oh. I mean, we're stuck right, together in a cabin in the woods, so. Getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. Alone? See who else is coming. The low cut jeans with the. Mike. What? Uh, I mean. You know, underwear sticking out. Uh -huh. Sam, what is this? Two thousand and six. Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow! Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, why is she here? The intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. Is she just like one of their friends still? Oh god, this is gonna get sticky. We got M and Jess, the current girl. Oh fuck. You invite the ex to the cabin in the woods party? What could go wrong? I don't think it would have been like as pretty. 
Oh, new boyfriend. Oh, the plot thickens. Motivated, ambitious, active, mad. Oh, shit. They just keep coming out with the singers. We got that new girlfriend. We got the ex-girlfriend. We got that new boyfriend. Hey, yo, the whole family's here. I am so glad we're going on this camping trip together. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Oh, my God. This is going to be so much fun. I hate it. Oh, wow. I... Hoo-wee. <sighs> getting chills. Oh, <gasps> God. I'm getting kind of creeped out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be weird seeing everyone up here again. You're definitely not going to feel like a regular party. Yeah, Matt. You don't even know what's coming. But what do you think? <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> God fucking damn it! Fucking dicks! Intelligent, driven, persuasive. You guys. <sighs> you really, really should have seen your faces right uh -huh. there. I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Yeah. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You <laughs> always get like this. Ooh, threaten or welcome. I like the way they like hold eye contact. They just like stare while you have to decide. Oh, fuck. We do have to tolerate each other for an entire weekend in the woods or whatever, or night. Until dawn, if you will. We're all friends here. For now. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend is gonna suck ass for everyone. I'll be a nice guy. Um, this is super awkward. And we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on. Okay? Yeah, nice guy, Matt. I hear you, Matt. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? Why was the oh, music scary? You guys going to make out now? Oh, my God, totally. We're so going to make out. Uh, no, seriously. I'm going to go check on the cable car back on the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. God, I hate him. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important. She needs to go talk to things. Mike. She looks like she really wants to get rid of me. Fine. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Why is the music so creepy with every decision? Welcome, sweetie. Thank you. Like, she obviously is doing some sus shit. I'm just going to let her do her sus shit. Staying with her. Is like, I don't know. Like, I'm not leaving you alone. Like, you go on, girl. Take care of what you need to take care of. Whatever. Oh. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, forthright. This is the one that was calling him. Because he has a crush on her, too. Okay, 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 okay. I'm getting it. The lore. Oh, God. I'm going to see a fucking... Oh, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. Oh, shocker. I'm surprised. Check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! <laughs> hey, whoa. Hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, what? Matt. I didn't mean to scare you sort of scary but not like for real oh scary you gosh oh my gosh hey well man i'm not really sorry ash dan it's okay it's fine it's fine my cat got so scared i'm sorry loki uh, it... let me check it out uh oh god now i have to make a decision this is scarier oh 
Oh, but the sauce. Oh, but the drama. If I let them have their weird behind the scenes breakup makeup bullshit. But isn't it better to be honest? Fuck! God, this is awful! The possibilities are endless. We mislead him, and he doesn't know, and he's just nice guy boyfriend, which sucks. Or we let him know, and now it's gonna ruin the trip! It's gonna ruin the trip either way. Take a look! Fuck it! Chaos! Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out. Yeah. Yeet! Oh, son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... damn it. Matt. I like how nothing has actually happened yet, and I've just been screaming. Honest. Nice. How do I change characters? Oh wow, we're already this far? Oh shit, okay. Looked at the messages. Oh wow. Offended. Criticized her. Chose not to shoot the squirrel. Nature remained in balance. Wow, that was quick. Ashley encouraged Matt to use the telescope. Saw Mike and Emily flirting. Yikes. Okay. Whatever. For real? I don't know what this bitch wants to do. Check your phone. Your friends are committing adultery. <laughs> ah! oh, Fuck! You did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. <sighs> but who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? This is a weird roleplay. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. S my Snowball Queen is vaguely dirty? What kind of vanilla wonderland are these people living in? Save some for later, buddy. Walking Endless in vanilla Christmas. wonderland. We should get up to the lodge. My snowball yeah. queen. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I think it's be hot and I mean, bothered, I like could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out. Quote unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Status update. What? Less funny charitable. Oh, because I didn't throw the snowball at him. Yeah, but we got some lip action. Interesting. Oh, we're back with this guy. Hello again. How are we feeling? The background the changed. Last session we established that you have a fear of things that are. Oh, it stacks. That's so interesting. That's so interesting. And the pause scenes reflect what you're doing at the time. 
because previously we were like in a light room with the devil painting in the background and now we're in the cabin hey yo dead or undead this time we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Oh, no. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Men worry me. Women worry me. Women are snakes. Men are stinky. Hmm. Well, there's a killer man out here, so I'm gonna go with men. Planes, crowds. I'm gonna go with crowds. Cause you never know who's in the crowd. Crowds trigger like my fight or flight on occasion. I'm in the Air Force, so it would be kind of contradictory to be scared of planes. Are they tailoring this game to my fears? Wait a second. By answering my mother's maiden name and my favorite color, are they gathering data on me to make this game worse for me? Oh, fuck nuggets. You guys know I hate water. God damn it. I can't even lie. I should play the reverse psychology and answer all the things that are less scary to me. They're going to throw water in this now. No. I can't even handle getting a snowball thrown at. Oh, God. I'm going to go with snakes. What the fork? Probably guns. Who's more scared of a knife than a gun? Probably people that actually watch horror movies. Knives, I, I use knives for making food. I'm not out here watching fucking murder t television. Yo, cockroaches for sure. Ooh, uh, no me gustan las cucarachas. E, oh, scarecrows for sure. The no face thing freaks me the heck out. How do they see you? They don't have a sniffer. They don't have peepers. They don't have a sniffer. Gore or crows? Gore? Crows are just birds. Ah! Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Dumping love. What's my scream count at? Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Oh, I have to do more of it? Please don't slam the door again. Spiders. Needles. Please don't slam the thing again. Please don't slam the thing again. Dogs. I don't know. Dogs. Dogs are scary when they're unpredictable. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. You're welcome. <laughs> Spiders, scarecrows, and dogs. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> ah. oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Oh, I hate this already. I'm sitting crisscross applesauce, by the way. That's why I'm sunk in my chair. I'm getting trying to get comfy.
previously. Did you guys think this is a little bit? Oh, we on. haven't stopped playing. Hannah, what's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No, shit. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? Darkness. Same to me. Josh, yep. Complex, thoughtful, loving. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm... Getting withdrawals already. Oh, there's no cell service, of course. Spare a million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here, okay? <laughs> yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Why is he standing like that? His legs were like out. Yo, yo, yo. You get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Gossip. Matt and Emily. You doing all right? Hey. You doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time. I'm know? over it. Like we always used to. He's not okay. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? It's your house, I sure. I think it's technically breaking in if you own the place. Exactly. Hey, not if I don't report you. Nope. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Y'all, I wish I was joking about being scared of everything. Hi, Chris. Oh, shit. It's weird to be back. It's nice being back. I'm a confident guy. I'm a suave. I'm a cool guy. So, how are you doing? Mm, good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, hey, yo. That does sound pretty nice. Charitable, romantic, nice. The way they set this game up is super neat. Like in each individual character, their relationships, their traits. Like every time you pop over to them, the decisions you make hot today, right? carry over. Oh, She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Sleeper build? I rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Ooh, we could bro it up and be like, "Yeah, dude, I wanna, I wanna make snow angels with her." Or we play nice guy and we're like, "Cut it out, man!" And then he's gonna be like, "Oh, so you like her? Oh, okay. I see how this is going." Hmm. I'm a nice guy. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe. Michael, take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing yep. down there. Yeah. Listen, dude. Look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? How old are these people? You imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities. Ripe? You and Ashley alone at last. Erotic? You've all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. The kill? 
This is like when people say dumb shit like, yeah, I'm gonna slay that pussy. I'm gonna absolutely... Dumb, I'm gonna guillotine that pussy. I'm just, I'm just really gonna, I'm gonna butcher it. <laughs> like, what? I hate that shit. That's so weird. It's not a dragon. Be gone, foul beast. I d declareth that I will slayeth thou pussy, my fine maiden. Like. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll slay that pussy, alright. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> no fear. All right, all right, I got it. Jeez. They call me the Rizzler. Romantic plus points with Josh. Hey, yo. There we so go. How are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. It's just a bunch of horny teens and a cabin. Got it. Premise established. Oh. 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 Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. I just had to turn off my GPS. I'm finally like outside. I've already missed two clues? How? The game just started. We haven't even done anything. How have I already missed two clues? Might actually use it. cool it on the phone talk? What? Why? That's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I can do all this stuff. Well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge? <laughs> well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. What have I missed? Dude, all of these people are gonna die. I already feel bad. I wouldn't trust me. I know y'all wouldn't trust me. Climbing, you just pulled up Beth and Hannah. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. It's the pressure from the, uh, uh, it's the, the physical, uh, if you use Whoa, the force Chris, of gravity awesome with the, idea. uh, yeah? pressurized oh, no. air. What, what is it? It causes, okay, so. uh, I'm pretty sure that I've Combustion. got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lormy dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. Okay. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Yep. God speak, Pilgrim. God damn it, dude, that light bulb just exploded. You're leaving me here alone? The fuck? What is this POV? Anyway, I mouse on the counter? God damn it, I hate this. Oh! Is there gonna be something under a tarp? I'm gonna lose my shit, bro. Ah, yes, a totem. Oh! In a fire. What do I do? Spray the can too hard? Oh my god, I hate this. Door. Oh my god, do I have to play this game? Can we just not? I think this is a good place to stop. Mostly everyone's alive. 
Oh. Hi, Loki. Okay. Ex janitor. What? Uh, hello? Convicted for arson. Okay, 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 okay. I was like, how? We have done nothing. How did I miss two clues? Okay, okay. They're kind of out of order. That's good. That makes me feel better. I still suck at clues, so... Alright, alright, alright. Why is he holding it behind him like a freak? What the fuck? Oh my god, I hate this! POV! I don't want to see the end of the hallway! And the music's scary! A distinctive locket. Oh, okay. I was like, y'all, I'm gonna die. Fuck me, man. Look at all these particulates in the air. Huh? Why? What the hell was that? Fuck it. Yeah, I'm going in. I don't care. Just kidding, I missed this corner. Just kidding, there's nothing there. Okay, fuck it, I'm going in. Oops. Why is there like whispering, bro? Spring. Oh my god, this is huge! Sam, Mike, and Emily. The basement! No. No. Thanks, I hate it. God, uh, today's the day I shit my pants. Today's really the day. No! Fuck that. Upstairs, right? They said upstairs, right? Why is the POV so weird? Upstairs, upstairs, right? God gives us 
toughest challenges to his strongest warriors. Oh, fuck. That's not locked. Ambient noise be like Hey yo, that's a nice bathtub. That's a whole pool. Y'all trying to have a pool party? What a dramatic... Get the fuck! Ah. Perfect. We're freezing our buns off out here! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Fuck, nothing scary has even happened. This is all the exposition. My cats are so scared right now. Hi, Jinx. Home sweet it's okay, home. baby. Sweet is not the word I use. We're good. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. <sighs> Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. <sighs> yes. Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Yeah. I wonder what happens if Come you don't in. let him know. Take a load off and have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway. Right? Fuck. Whoa. It's easy there, cowboy. We're going right to it. Challenge or warn? I'm gonna challenge. Stay away from Emily? Tell Emily to stay away from him. What is warning him gonna do if she's the one that snuck off and left my ass to go see him? Like... Stew, that's so beta. We're not beta. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? Yeah, Matt. What? I saw you and M. With the telescope. Yeah. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? I overreacted once again. Beta behavior. Watch yourself, Mike. Um, right. Right. Jinx. I'm sure it's all it was. You know what? You can think whatever you want. It's a free country. Watch yourself, Mike. Oh, Lord. Are you going to confront your girl, too? Oh, Cause... my God. That, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No oh. one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh. oh did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like sluttiness? They're dating. Okay. Okay. I was Team Emily for a second there. Like, sure, it's weird. She, you're in a cabin with your ex. Sure, like, a lot of weird feelings. But you don't need to come out here with the harsh accusations. You don't just come out here like, oh, God, you're swallowing his face. They're just sitting next to each other, you psycho. And then she's like, oh, you're slutty. They, they're, they broke up. They're dating. He has a new girlfriend. It's not slutty to... Dude. It's better she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling this homecoming a cow. Oh my god. Provoke. 
Diffuse? Chill out, Emily. She's being a bitch. Em, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Did you just call me an oaf? You're the only one who can put him down. No one else can play with your toys. You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. I, I try to diffuse it. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. I just work here. Uh, fuck. Provoke. I already tried diffusing and then they bit my hand. They bit my finger. I was like, calm down. They're like, I. Emily, stop. Shut your mouth, Jess. Which one sounds better? That's my girl you're talking about, even though she was just being a total slut behind my back with her ex and the guy you're currently seeing. That's my girl you're talking about. Do I defend her even though she's being a weirdo? Being sus behind my back? Or do I make fun of her in front of her face? I'm like, Emily, stop. All right, I, also, I, I didn't stand up for her the first time. We'll go with shut your mouth, Jess. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No, you're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it. This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for 10 minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? They just got here. A break right. from what? Why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Break from what? That? Any place without that whore. It, it's right that whore. <sighs> Any place oh, without that. What? So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Bow, 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 bow. I've been really trying, baby. So, Josh, should we, uh. Oh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right. Emily's got she some major insecurities. Designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, oh my god. I hate all these people. You must have left it down by the cable car station. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. I liked her initially because okay. it was like, she was presented as a intelligent, witty character. But I hate her. Okay. Right now. I'm gonna go take a bath. Hopefully she has like a redemption arc because she's annoying as hell. <sighs> oh. Ooh, Matt. Yikers. Sexiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Sexiled. Oh, a snow princess or whatever How the fuck. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right, and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. You gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? <laughs> there you go, Mike. Really? What? No. Wait, really? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> she was like totally trying to I hate this shit. She was trying to listen to a response, right? She was like, I think he was flirting with me, expecting him to be like, Wow, babe, I'll get him next time. Like, wow, with you really trying to like get me to turn. And then I was like, Okay, what you wanna invite him up? And then she's like, Really? I hate this. Oh my god. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good for me. This is good for me. I need this. It's uh just testing my tolerance of uh humans it's good it's good for you is there anything over here why is this here if there's nothing over here yeah that was weird what was that Whoa. Whoa. All right, whatever. <sighs> Let's play a game called Aurelia Doesn't Cringe. Let's see how long I can do it. Do you guys like it when I roast the shit out of all these characters? Okay, okay. No roasting. Okay. Is there gonna be some shit? Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. Noted. So cute. They're like such a cute couple, am I right? Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Wow, so hot. dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. She was being a bitch. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. Charitable. But we get the, the poon. Hmm. Is it worth losing my honor? Yes. Anyways. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. We are going to the generator. Say there was a generator? Yep. I'm a genius. That's what I'm known for. My big brain. They call me big brain because I got a big brain. Yep. Oh, fuck. Oh no, death? Is that red or brown? Hey Mike, gotta find the generator or what? Dang, I'm in danger. I liked that girl, I don't want her to get punched. Fire. Sometime after the prospector and driven mad murderers. What? The fuck? What the I fuck is that? Generator. All right, got it. All right. Let's see. Dios mío. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. This is very hands-on. Woo! You are a 
I'm gonna need therapy after this. Sam. The gates. <sighs> Fuck me, man. I couldn't even play The Last of Us. That wasn't even a scary game. Yeah. Totally. That was just awesome. Oh yeah. I bring the hit. This is really pretty. You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure. A sexcapade. What? No cringing, no cringing, no cringing. Sexcapade. Yep. Hey, little mama, you want to go on a sexcapade? I'm Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well... They never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. I hope they're at peace. That's not helpful. I'm nosy. What do you remember? It's all such a blur. I can barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault. They ran into the woods. Yeah, but... Yeah. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? Curious. Less with Jess. Huh. I mean... They shouldn't have run off in the woods, but you shouldn't have done it in the first place, you dickweed. Anyways. I don't like all these POVs. Um, did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. What the fuck? I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. You know no! <laughs> Jess! Fuck! Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey! Um, okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? Please don't go through the... I don't know. I can hardly see anything. Can we just ditch her? I'll jump down. Push the cart. All right, Jess, there's a cart. I think if you can push it, you can get by. All right. Okay, let me just try. Why are we in the scary mine shaft? <laughs> It's too heavy. I've played Minecraft. It tried again. Hey, so, babe, you see the little gap down there? Between the cart and the wall? The tiny little gap? Yeah, maybe you can just, you know, like shimmy through it or something. <laughs> I appreciate your confidence in my physique, but I don't think the ladies are gonna fit. Just try it. Oh, with the right. Oop. Okay. Gotcha. I'm gonna die. Okay. So, why don't you either toss that light down or, you know, be a hero and jump down here to assist me? Ugh. What good is it if we both jump down here? Maybe I can get us out? I don't want to lose my light. 
and be a little bitch. What's worse, dying? What's worse, dying or being a little bitch? I think I'd rather die than be a little bitch. We'll jump down. We'll jump down. All right, don't move. I'm coming in. Better hurry up before some other hunky beefcake gets. Ah! Hey, handsome. Wanna help me move this car? Fuck! I don't appreciate the reluctance. Bitch! Comfort in Mike. Sided with Jessica during the fight with Emily. Yikes! God damn it. Dude, I hate this. Oh, okay, fine, fine. Fuck it. Whatever. Just go. How am I moving? How am I moving? <sighs> that guy's following us into a dead end. I imagined us grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> Just gonna pretend like it didn't happen. Oh, Nelly. This place is giving me the willies. And not the good kind of willies. Pardon me, ma'am. What is a good kind of willy? Comfort and reassurance. We'll save it for the cabin, Buster. Oh. White is helpful? Sexy booby angel lady? What? Oh, it's her. That's Jess! What happened to her? Bro, this game is gonna get crazy. Dude, this game is gonna get in. God! We haven't seen shit. We haven't seen shit. God. Okay. Whew, it's fine. What? Why was the music weird? What was that? I didn't even see anything in the background. God. Uh. Haha. <laughs> yeah, ideally. God. There's a map? Schematics? Jesus. 1952, the danger. Structural faults in the mine marked up by a mine engineer. Huh. This is a real fixer rubber. Turning my volume down again. My, my poor little heart can't take it. Finally, a little ray of hope. Oh, 
we didn't get murdered by the guy. Yet. What was that? Light. Fire. Oh. Oh. What's down here? Oh! Oh! Gecko totem, gecko totem, gecko totem. Loss? Jessica, don't go anywhere. You're gonna get trapped in some weirdo's basement and you're gonna fall to your death. Fuck. One? Air Force <laughs> right, One. Right. Save it for the stump speech, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay. Oh? Shit was that? That was some like what are they called in Game of Thrones? Some White Walker shit? It's a fucking zombie, bro. What was that? God, my heart rate. Are there already footprints? Y'all see this? Or am I just retracing my steps? I think I'm just retracing my steps. Dude. What? Oh, I have to go down. No. Ah, oh, can I look through it again? Nope. Hey, Jess? Mm-hmm? Stay close by, okay? Wolves, bears, and... Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. An elk. Oh. Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. <gasps> Come on. Jesus. <sighs> Zombie, really? That looked like a zombie, right? Why are all the sounds in this game so harsh? They just like cut my ear. so weird. Watch out, bird brain. God, I just kicked the shit out of my ankle. It's just, just answering his mating call. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, got a lot of love to give. <laughs> Fuck. Scared. Status update from the bird? Funny and romantic. Oh. Oh, Jess and oh, damn, we're in the red indicator. We got max hearts. We about to mate. Excuse me.
Excuse me, young lady. May I canoodle your poodle? <sighs> oh, sorry. I'm trying to match the cringe status of these people's dialogue. Hell, I'm in. This is unsafe. This is not me regulation. There's no boundary here, sir. This last leg has no offense. Fuck. God. How'd you guys bamboozle me into playing this game? How? God damn it, Josh. Could you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. You know, vault over it. Oh, boo! Show off. That's how she got that booty. You've got something on your face. Ah. Boo! Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? Ah! Yes! Fuck. All right, it's getting serious. Oh, thank God, a therapy session. He always helps, right? Oh, hey! damn it, no. What? I thought Wanna I was the therapist. Get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. You're fully clothed. Oh, oh do you need any help with that? Hardy R. Chat energy, hey, yo, do you need any help with that? I'm taking a shower. Oh, without me? God, I hate people. Oh, this is so good. This is really... Oh, testing my patience for the human race. I love it. Come on. Oh, he asked me if I have a fear of drowning or heights. Right, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Are they gonna like incorporate this as a water scene? Like someone's gonna come in and try to drown her? Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no no no. I hate these. Oh, yes, the attic. <sighs> Turn my volume down. March 18th, 2013. Hannah had an appointment to get a tattoo. She chose a butterfly design. <gasps> yeah, she got one. She was taking her shirt off and she had a butterfly tattoo. I noticed that. I was like, oh, cheeky. Happy Christmas, sis. So many butterflies everywhere. I'd be delighted if you could attend my awesome party. That's why she came over, because he was like, Hey, yo, want to get some action? She's been crushing on this guy forever. Damn. 
Is that a banana slice? That looks like someone sliced a banana. Hannah, Josh, and Beth. You were invited to Sam's Halloween party October 31st, 2013. Fancy dress obligatory. I'd have a banana slice pillow. It's kind of meta. I hate okay this is giving me severe paranoia because after playing the last of us there are a couple times where like you're doing something and you're focused and it like zooms in and then someone comes from behind and is like bah! like on your shoulder like whips you around or whatever and they've already done it once where we looked through the goggles and then there was the zombie thing whatever we're gonna call that and then every time we zoom in to look at a note it like completely disorients you from the rest of your location it just is like hyper focused on your item which is great but it's also terrifying because it puts you in a vulnerable position the game is tricking you that you're safe and i don't trust that at all at all i have trust issues after the last of us with jump scares like it's like oh you're good yes you can go and look over at this totem just like you're safe you know bend over you know really look at it flip the page i am very stressed out right now <laughs> Where'd I come from? Oh, POV. The masks. Winner. An award for a movie that Josh's dad directed. Best horror film, 2009. Weird. Oh, this is stuff I missed when I went into the house the first time. That was scary. All the lights were off. No one was here. I was not about to go exploring. Hell no. Weird. I don't like that. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. Of course. Oh, wow, you have a spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? Wait, are you saying we should have a seance? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well, Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. <sighs> Let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, you're 
not gonna regret it. Yep, for a ride along. At least we're not alone. The basement. Really? At least we're not alone. All the whispering, scary sounds. Hey, you notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. True. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over. You know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. Traumatic event? That was specific. Why? Why did you mention? Why did he mention a traumatic event? Oops. Ooh, Cape Cod. Josh with his lovely sisters Hannah and Beth, looking great, guys. Ooh, we found all the clues so far. What if the brother? is the killer. He's in on it. He wants to inherit the scary cabin. So he murdered his sisters. That he got birthday gifts for. Hmm. You know, Sam. Yes, Josh? I just wanted to say... It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know, that you came, Sam. Reassuring. I'm a nice guy. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this. Together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? I'm not getting anywhere away from him. I'm following him. Oh my god, this is like so serial killery. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. This is the basement where Jess is gonna be kept in the future. Jesus Christ, this is like Why is this so freaky? Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. They want me to walk a Oh, baseball bat. Whew. Pull a Harley Quinn. I'll be serious. Get to know him better, or should I lighten the mood? Baseball in the snow? Yeah, we'll lighten the mood a little. Be pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters, it was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Poor guy. Can't Unless he murdered them. No reality. Right, Sam? Anyway, I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? That was a butterfly effect? And left it in the cellar? Pick it up! Why would you leave a ba- 
So if I chose the other dialogue option of... Is it yours? That we would have taken it with... What? Grab it. Here, can you... Can you hold this? Leaves the baseball bat in the cellar. What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Sam dies later. Fuck! Nice one. Why was that so scary? Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. And it's like vibrating on the controller too the whole time. Josh. And then something actually comes out and kills him. Okay, so you hear that too, right? Josh. What? I said it's like weirdly regular. Not, not, nothing regular about it. Heroic. I'll check it out. No. some problem with the furnace. Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. I'm less charitable and brave, but I am funny. I'll take it. Ah, oh, fuck! Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity. Yes, you, Chris. Are you serious? Were you in on this putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank. Which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared, admit it. I was not! Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! What in God's name are you wearing? I... 
found my true calling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please tell me you're gonna take a vow of silence. Damn, got his ass. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> did you at least find the thingy? Oy, 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 oy. Here's our one way ticket to the spirit realm. Bro, I can't believe we left the baseball you know bat. You know what? No, no. And the flashlight? Been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. True. <gasps> Our therapist! I never thought I'd be so happy to see him again. Why is there a hook? What happened? We're back here. I would like to understand your feelings toward people who fear the supernatural, ghosts, spirits, and other intangible forces beyond the veil. I'm sitting crisscross applesauce. I need a blankie. Do you share this fear? Yes. not reflected in the way you are playing your game now is it what i'm so scared what do you mean i'm quaking in my booties and now let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth what you value what you respect in yourself and others. Okay. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Oh. That's a toughie. Obviously, you want someone to be honest with you. But you also want them to be loyal to you. What if they're honestly a scumbag? Or they're loyal but dishonest. This is such a... What? There's no right answer. I'll say loyalty. So you would tell a lie in order to be loyal to a friend, okay. And what about loyalty versus charity? Loyalty. <laughs> so you would sooner look after your friends before caring for those in greater need? The utilitarianism. Oh, well, again, I'm afraid we're out of time. I got gypped. That was a very Talk short session. Soon. I got gypped. I got gypped. That was a very short session. So I still don't like horror games, but I will say this is a very interesting setup for a game, a very unique way to play. So not only is it decision based, but there's also so many layers of things going on. So decision based, the butterfly effect, all of these relationships and character traits and character development based off of the way that you're playing. But there's also like a killer and other random things going on and the dynamic between the characters. It's a very neat game. I can totally see why you guys wanted me to play it and why you recommended it to me so heavily. But I still hate it. <laughs> but I still hate it. We shall see as we continue the game. But thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.